this hallelujah this week is a uh, passion of the week of Jesus Christ our lord so we we come to the cross where Jesus Christ hang on this cross oh look at the cross look at the cross uh, it blood is shedding and dropping down on the ground we see the the blood uh, uh, before in front of the, the cross oh oh i killed we you and me nail down before the cross repent what i done and pray to the lord oh forgive us just already for forgive us now before i go to the subject of today's sermon i, I want to tell you the major event of passion of jesus christ in our lord in this week so and i I'm going to give you the just outline uh, uh, that what Jesus Christ has done before he died. Sunday, triumphal entry into the Jerusalem. Oh. Jesus went to enter into the Jerusalem. People a lot of people uh, gather together on the street and Hosanna, Hosanna, the King of Kings, Lord of is, is coming. Huh? Monday, Jesus clears the temple. Jesus was upset, Jesus was angry when he saw the, the people who sold out the merchandise in the temple. The Jesus Christ upsold the table, upside down the table. Hmm? Tuesday. Jesus authority challenged in the temple. So Jesus told the prophecy, the end of this world to disciples. We call this is a discourse, only with discourse, yes. Uh, 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 and one more, uh, Tuesday, Judah agrees, Judah sold out Jesus Christ, he betrayed Jesus, Wednesday the the Bible does not say what Jesus did on this day. He probably remained in Bedani with his disciples. Thursday, the last supper, Jesus had a supper, last dinner with the disciples. Jesus struggles in Gethsemane, he prayed to God, I 
until blood came out from his body. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. I see the blood is shedding on the cross. Oh, Jesus is betrayed and arrested. Friday, Good Friday, Good Friday. Yeah, we call it Good Friday. It's coming. Jesus is tried by Jewish and Roman authority. <clears throat> oh. And is Peter denied Jesus three times. Saturday, he was. You know that. Sunday, oh, Sunday. Sunday, resurrect today. Angel said, he's not here. <laughs> he's not here at the tomb. He's gone. Why are you looking for the Jesus Christ among the dead men? Eh? Angel said to Maria, he is a reason. Oh, thank you, Lord. He is a reason. Resurrected. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, all right. Jesus gave the last word before he ascended to the Father in heaven. Hear me. What he said. He, oh, go all to the world. Prick to the goodness. Gospel to so, all creation. Whoever, whoever that believe and be baptized will be saved. Whoever that does not believe will be condemned. These signs shall follow those who believe. Hmm? In my name, they shall cast out demons. They shall pick up the snake in hand and drink the deadly poison. It, not, it will not be hurt. They we lay hands on the sick person, they will get well. Mark 15 chapter, uh, 16 chapter 15 through the 18. Matthew, Matthew described the same word Jesus Christ said. It's almost the same. I, I want to tell you. Matthew 8, uh, 28, chapters 18 through the 20. All this authority in heaven and earth. Therefore, therefore, huh? I'm talking to you. Not me. <laughs> Just talking to you, listen, my friend. Just talking to me. By Holy Spirit now through the, my mouth. Accept. Accept this word as a rhema. God, Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now. Hold this word. Hold this word by the Holy Spirit.
or go into the world. Be baptized in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Teach them and to obey in everything what I have commanded to you. Listen, that is a very, very good word to us. I am with you to the end of this age. This is a very, it comforts the world to children. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Let's take a close and careful look at the mark 16, chapter 16, verse 18. I have said to you, these verses to show that as long as the grace of the salvation continue to exist, miracles and the divine healing will continue to exist. If this gift were intended only for the believers of the apostolic times, then salvation of soul would have been intended only for people of that time. Hmm? Does it make sense? Hello? But we know <coughs> that ah, the promise in Mark 16 chapter, you got. He that believes hmm, shall be saved. Is it still true? Yes. We understand. If anyone who believes Jesus Christ in his heart and confess by his mouth, they shall be saved. According to Matthew 10, chapter. 9 through the 10, I believe that. Yeah. Huh? We know, we understand this principle of salvation. The, the warning of Jesus Christ, Mark 16, is also still true. Uh, You know, how can we say that this promise Jesus Christ instructed the disciples before he go to heaven? This sign shall follow that believe. I believe. You believe. How can we say this promise has been cancelled? On what ground can we prove it? Since faith is the condition of salvation, if one part of biblical promise has been cancelled, the other part must be cancelled as well. On the other hand, as long as one part of the promise is still in effect, the other part must be also in effect. Jesus used the same Greek word 
for a belief in relation to salvation as uh, he did in relation to divine healing. Who dares to lose what God has joined together? Huh? In the praise, he that believe shall be saved. The singular form of belief is used. Huh? And these signs shall follow them that believe the plural form of belief is used. The principle is the same. If a person wants to be saved, he or she must come to before the Lord and accept Jesus as his personal Savior and Lord salvation is a gift to the individual. But divine healing is a gift of God given to the body, body of Christ, church. Hmm? Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. Help me. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Many churches today do not really understand the Lord's promise concerning divine healing and the signs. God is going to show his power to the church. As a result of ignorance and disbelief of some Christian, this gift that Jesus gave to church has been ignored and neglected. But let me tell you, we can see in church history that when great revival takes place through the great outpouring Holy Spirit, Believers receive the new strength and become the bold in their faith. You know, I would, I, I just want to tell in American Revival uh, event in 20th century, 1914. <clears throat> In Azusa, California, greater revival meeting taken place. It's a uh, marvelous in the greater revival explode in Azusa Street. Mm. Pentecostal denomination was born at that time. 1957, I believe, it. Philadelphia Revival meeting had happened. Oh, 
1996. I, I think, yeah. Pensacola, Florida. Hmm? A, a, a tremendous revival meeting had happened. I was there. I saw. A, a Pensacola revival movement. Oh, I still remember. A lot of young people came together from in the world and who addicted in the dope and alcohol. They were cleaned and the Holy Spirit poured out it, it, like great rains. They were saved, they were healed. Addiction, they used struggle. They, are, they were healed by the Holy Spirit. I saw. All right. Uh, I still remember. I, 1940, 50, in this country. It, it, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, 1950, 60, 70, it, the tent meeting by Pastor Oral Roberts, you know, is a famous, powerful evangelist, and preached in tent meeting revival in across the country and all over the world. America revival movement explode at that time. Hmm? And Billy Graham Crusade it started 1950, 60, 70, still, still, it's going on by Franklin Graham, the son of Billy Graham. You can see the TV right now, cable TV. Oh, that, that they, they begin exercising many wonderful signs within and without the church. The Bible meeting. Yeah, the Bible meeting boom on in 20th century it God no yes as uh, Joel prophet Joel as prophet Joel prophesied Joel to 22 chapter 40, 38, yeah, I believe. It last day. I will pour out the Holy Spirit. Man, Sabbath, made it, they shall prophesy. Hmm? This prophecy has been fulfilled. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Oh, thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. If, okay, if we have the right to deny such uh, signs or gift, then we also have the right to deny salvation through the faith. Hmm? Just the, and the grace of the salvation through the faith is preached in the church today. 
So science must be preached and welcomed to every church. Hallelujah. Uh, divine healing must be preached so as to benefit to the church and Christian defeat the devil. Oh, hallelujah. Pray the Lord. And we must show spiritual reality of the people of the world who are drunken with materialism and sensuality, addicted, addicted to everything they like. Now let me tell you, a common problem among the believers today is the belief that the grace and the power for science and the divine healing is given to only particular persons. God never shows any partiality. The, the, to, today's text says, Mark 15, chapter 16, 16 to 18. These, listen, these signs shall follow them that believe. Hmm? To everybody who believe. Hmm? These things are given for edification of the whole church. Hallelujah. Not just the, the certain congregation, not just to some people. No, no, no. If we do not preach the word of God, which tells us that we are the saved by faith, how can, how can people be saved? Think about that. In the same way, in the same way, how, no, if we do not witness to the power and the grace of the miracle, miracle and the signs, wonder revealed in Mark's uh, gospel, we had ever shared that before. How can people believe and experience such a miracle and the signs? Think about it in a moment. Divine healing did not disappear with the end of the apostolic age. Huh? Hallelujah. Consequently, the gift of divine healing has no power within the church today. Without, I, I want to tell you as a, as a conclusion, without the compromise, we must preached boldly and word of God and and show show the gift of God which God gave to you divine healing and the sign should be manifest the people so that they will come to the, our Lord, pray the Lord. Uh, they will say, I saw, I saw your God is in you. This is a wonderful thing we are, we dearly we are expecting as early church, early church is this Paid by the wonder and the miracle sign, by the, in the work of the God. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. I, I, I just, I just, I'm telling to you, just to look at the cross in this week, not only this week, at the, all the time, we have to go in before the cross and repent and the cross we get that. and we, we are sinner and we are realized 
the God, Jesus Christ, it died for us, really died for us. He had suffered on this Friday on the cross. Oh, thank you, we have to pray. And never, ever, we don't sin again. Hallelujah, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. See you later next time. God bless you. Pray the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye.